The purple sea star is a common starfish along the North American Pacific coast, from Alaska to Baja California. They can be found on rocks and exposed shorelines down to 289 feet deep. They have a rough surface, and their coloration is variable from purple to orange, yellow, or brown. Their feeding patterns play a dominant role in structuring and maintaining the diversity of rocky intertidal communities. They do this by primarily feeding on mussels that would otherwise overpopulate and prevent other species from thriving. In the rocky intertidal zone, the most valuable resource is space. In studies where this sea star has been removed, mussels begin to outcompete species such as barnacles. This makes the purple sea star a keystone species, meaning that an ecosystem can change drastically if their population declines. The sea star has five tapering arms and a central disc. They may reach 20 inches in diameter. Along with mussels, they also feed on organisms like barnacles, abalone, chitons, and snails. Their mouth is located on their underside. They feed by everting their stomach, inserting it into the shell of their prey, and secreting digestive enzymes. They use their tube feet to pull shells apart. They move upward during high tide to capture prey, and often return to a lower tide pool to digest their prey. Like other echinoderms, purple sea stars have a network of water vessels in their body called the water vascular system. Their tube feet are extended and moved by hydraulic pressure from this system. The madreporite, a porous calcareous plate on the top surface of their disc, connects the water vascular system to the outside environment, allowing water to enter or leave. They can use their tube feet for locomotion and for clinging to rocks at low tide. When out of water, the purple sea star is quite stiff. Underwater, their body bends and moves easily. This is because the skeletal plates of sea stars are held together by a type of tissue called catch connective tissue. Under nervous control, this tissue can quickly become stiff or soft. Although indistinguishable externally, these starfish have separate sexes. They are broadcast spawners, releasing eggs and sperm into the water column. Being close to one another increases the probability of fertilization. Fertilized eggs hatch into free-swimming planktonic larvae. The larvae remain in the plankton for six to eight weeks. Purple sea stars are thought to live up to 20 years. Seagulls and sea otters occasionally eat them. They can regenerate arms that have been lost. Due to their coloration, they are sometimes collected by curious tide pool visitors. They are also threatened by sea star wasting disease. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button.